regarding multi decision making let's talk about the analytical hierarchy process it is a basic approach to decision making it is designed it is designed to cope with the both rational and the intuition to select best from a number of alternatives with respect to several criteria so what does this mean that basically it is incorporating or giving weightage to judgment so in the process of uh, ahp the decision maker carries out simple pair wise compares and judgments which are then used to develop overall priorities for making alternatives um the ahp both allows uh, for inconsistency in the judgments and also provides a mean to improve consistency so it's a very very simple method and this method is basically used to rank decision alternative and selecting the best one when the decision maker has multiple objectives or criteria so let's say if you want to buy a house you want to buy a car you want to go to college each scenario here has got multiple criteria or attributes and in such scenarios you can apply ahp so in our complex world nowadays uh we are facing problems in which stakes are extremely high in which human perceptions and judgments are involved and whose solutions have long term implications so for that what we need is not a more complicated way of thinking but a framework that will enable us to think of complex problem in a very simple way ahp is capable of providing such framework that will enable the decision maker to make effective decisions on complex issues by simplifying and expediting natural decision making processes human are not often logical creatures most of the time we base our judgment on hazy impressions of reality and then use logic logic to defend our conclusions the ahp organizes feelings intuition and logic in a structured approach to decision making the analytical hierarchy process developed by professor thomas l sati in 1980 allows for structuring the decision hierarchy and shows relation between objectives and the possible alternatives the biggest advantage of this method is that it allows the inclusion of intangibles also and those intangibles could be experience subjective preferences intuition in a logical and structured way uh the popularity increased in the mid uh, 1980s and as i mentioned before to date it has been applied in various application areas of engineering specifically in risk analysis and optimization
the analytical hierarchy process uh, may could be divided into major steps which are develop a model for the decision break down the decision into hierarchy of goals criteria and decision alternatives second would be to derive priorities or weights for the criteria the importance of criteria is compared pair wise with respect to the desired goal to derive their weights we then check the consistency of judgments that is a review of judgment is done in order to ensure that a reasonable level of consistency in term of proportionality and transitivity third one would be derive local priorities preferences for the alternative derive priorities or the alternatives with respect to each criterion separately following a very similar uh, procedure as, as discussed in the previous step again you have to um, like all you need to do is to compare the alternative pair by with respect to each other criterion check and adjust the consistency as required the fourth one could be derive overall pro priorities which is model synthesis all alternative priorities obtained are combined as weighted sum to take into account the weight of each criterion to establish the overall priorities of the alternative the alternative with the highest overall priority constitutes the best choice this is how basically we are summarizing the ahp process perform sensitivity analysis so if you want performance and uncertainty analysis and that could be done by finding that okay how changes in the weight of various criteria could the could change my result and that is basically done to understand the results or the rationale behind the obtained results better and next step the last one would be to make a final decision either on the synthesis result and synthesis and the sensitivity analysis results on the basis of either the fourth step or fifth step you can make decision so here is um ahp the first step would be to develop a graphical representation of the problem in terms of overall goal and so our goal here is select the best car second one would be criteria and that is price miles per gallon comfort style third one decision alternative so i have car a b c so here i have three cars this is a uh, basically decision hierarchy for buying a car so it should be noted that level 1 is goal level 2 is criteria and level 3 is my alternatives pairwise comparison are fundamental building blocks of ahp the ahp employs an underlying scale with various from 1 to 9 to read the relative preferences for two items and if verbal judgment is extremely important numeric value will be 8 or 9 very strongly more important then the numeric value will be 6 and 7 if verbal judgment is strongly more important numerical value will be 4 and 5 for more readily more important 2 and 3 and for equally important the numeric value will be 1 
element C i j of the matrix is the measure of the preference of the ith in the row i with compare to the item in the j. EHP assigns a 1 to all elements on the diagonal of the pair wise comparison matrix because you are comparing one alternative against itself so that is why the judgment must be that they are equally preferred here simple pairwise comparison matrix and here in the diagonal you can see it's 1 1 1 here here you can see 2 this is that car A is 2 times comfortable than car B and here you can see it's 1 by 2 so car B is 1 and a half times comfortable compared to that of car A. So first step would be to sum values in each column. 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 8. It's going to gonna give me 13 divided by 8 and here for C 8 plus 6 plus 1 it's 15 and for B do the same. just like uh, it has been done in excel so here are the values what i am doing is summing second one would be to normalize i'm going to divide each value by its corresponding column totals So 1 divided by 1.625, here I am going to get this value. So what I am doing, I am basically normalizing it. Uh, how did I get this number? So 0.5 divided by 1.625, about this number, that is 1 divided by 15 this is my column total and next uh, step so small step would be to just sum up these values here uh, just for check if you are getting one so this tells that you have done um, everything correctly till step 2 next step would be to take average of row and here is I'm going to take average of this row for car A then for car B and then for car C uh, regarding consistency an important consideration in terms of quality of the ultimate decision relatives to the consistency of the judgment that the decision maker demonstrated during the series of pairwise comparison. So it should be realized perfect consistency is very difficult to achieve and that is some lack of consistency is expected to exist in almost every set of pairwise comparison to handle this the AHP provides a method for measuring the degree of consistency among the pairwise judgment provided by the decision maker if the decision if the degree of consistency is acceptable the decision process can continue if not then you need to revise the pairwise comparison 
comparison judgments before proceeding with the analysis. So it's like a halt for you. Here what I'm going to do once I have this uh, row average I'm going to mul multiply this first element with the initial pairwise matrix with this whole column the second element with this whole column and this third element of this here which is 0 0.064 with this third row 861 then I'm going to calculate the sum of this row right and divide this row sum by this row average here so 1.7990 divided by 0.59 here 1.00 divided by 0.34 and 0.196 divided by 0 0.0654 lambda can be um, calculated here that I sum up these values and divide it by 3 or just take the average n here is 3 because initially I was considering a 3 by 3 matrix CI consistency index the formula is here given lambda x minus n divided by n minus 1 here lambda max minus n divided by n minus 1 once I compute CI next step would be to calculate or find the value of CR CR is CI divided by RI and RI is the random index and the values are already given in table so here it is depending on the size of matrix as we were considering a 3 by 3 matrix so ri value is 0 0.58 0 0.58 right so from this i calculate CR which is basically CI divided by RI and then I am basically putting a condition a logical condition that if if CR is greater than CI then our judgment is consistent if not then our judgment is inconsistent and all we need to do is to go back and revise our pairwise uh, comparison matrix this should be performed for price the same procedure for miles per gallon and then for style also so uh, in order to uh, obtain the final results so let's say if it is consistent then I'm going to use this row average for my result for here here this row average for miles per gallon and this row average for my style and obviously this row average for my comfort so I need to just copy paste values here and then I need to set the criterion that okay how much is price important for me how much is miles per gallon comfort and style so here I have to assign different values it must be noted that the summation here that should be one okay
So here I am going to multiply this price with this price criterion plus MPG value here with this weight value here the comfort value here with this criterion weightage value plus style value multiply by this and I, I'm gonna add up I will uh, perform this for car B and car C and I'm going to choose car B since it has the highest value so we will choose car B and here is our uh, prioritization this tool uh, will be shared with students